Hello, boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to submit an assignment on Edgenuity. I'm going to show you on a math document. Underneath activities, you're going to go to the module that you are working on. We are working on module one. You will see here that this student has already completed orders of operation, the activity, and the quiz. He also already submitted the module one assignment. So I'm going to show you how to submit on a different assignment. So if I click on brackets, parentheses, and braces, going to open it. I am going to listen and read the directions, the instructions, answer anything that I need to, making sure I am taking notes, watching the video, listening carefully. I'm going to keep on working, reading the examples. Please do not move on as quickly as I am. Okay, I am going to stop here. I see a activity that needs to be downloaded and eventually I'm going to have to re-upload this so that way my teacher can give me the points that I need. So you're going to click on activity. Okay, this says practice with brackets interactive, meaning that you can type on this um, document. However, just by typing on it, it does not submit it to the teacher. You're going to have to download the assignment. So going to download, going to save it onto my desktop. I am going to put my initials on the front so I know. Mrs. Gutierrez, practice with braces. Make sure it saves to your desktop. Click desktop. Going to save it. I'm going to minimize my internet. Go to my desktop and find MG practice with braces. Here, I am going to type my name. This is an example. Okay testing. So I'm going to go through and work on my assignment all the way down to number six. Okay, I am going to come up here to the PDF and save it. Make sure you come to the right hand corner and click save. Okay, I want to save it. Now I'm gonna come back and make sure that everything is there. Yes, my name, an example, testing, okay. So I see that this document is now fully finished and ready for me to upload. So I'm gonna go back into the internet. I'm going to close out of this PDF, I already downloaded it. I'm gonna finish with my activity. I need to continue taking my notes, reading the examples, showing um, that I am working. Ah, there's another bracket and practice assignment. Applying parentheses and brackets. Okay, going to begin. My name is, this is a test. I am testing. Okay, I'm going to go all the way through and I am going to finish working. Okay, I'm done. Right, MG. Go to desktop. Save it. See if that saves it. You may not be able to. Yeah, see, if I did that, it does not save the work. Okay. So what I showed you is what some kids have been doing. They type right into this. After you go here, they click activity and they just keep working. You cannot do that. You need to download it first, okay? Then you click on this bottom download button and now you can type your name, you can type all your answers. Please make sure you are showing your work on the side of your notebook. Okay, I finish. Yay. Now, oops, I did it again. So sorry. Okay. You are going to 
open it on the desktop. There we go. Now it will save everything. You go all the way to the bottom, you finish it, press save. Make sure it's done saving. It won't let you close out until, uh, so I wanna stay on this page. It's done now, so I can close out. Still not ready. Give it some time to make sure it saves the work. Okay, it's done. Now I can come back onto my desktop, making sure, yes, my name is there and my test. Now I can go back and upload both of these assignments. Going to con close out of the downloads. Going to continue with my lesson. Continue taking notes, working hard. Okay, now we're done with that. Now I can come back to module one, assignment two. Okay, so they want you to upload applying parentheses and brackets. Okay, so you're going to download those pages. So I'm going to attach a file, choose file, I'm going to come to my desktop, and I'm going to upload, oops. That's not the right one. That says order of operation. Oops, I made a mistake. That's okay. I can easily remove it. So make sure that it says order of operations. That is not what I'm supposed to be working on. Okay, I was working on um, parentheses, brackets, and braces. Okay, so remove that. That's okay. No big deal. I can add an attachment. So I'm going to choose my file. Choose what I need to do. It's MG applying parentheses. Okay, upload. You can also, this one, he had already submitted some work, so that's why it's going to say resubmit. No big deal. Resubmit my work. Now it's going to say you have successfully submitted this assignment. Okay, don't close out of anything, just use your back button for the math module, and it will show you again that it is completed. Okay, this is the same thing that you will be doing for all of your courses. Now, what I recommend is to minimize your internet. I recommend creating a new file folder for all your assignments. Okay, there's different ways you can do this. Um, I recommend creating a new folder for each subject. So you're going to right click on your desktop. You're going to go to click, or you're going to click new. You're going to click folder. And I'm going to go to math since that's what I just did. So I just downloaded that map. I downloaded three of them. Now my desktop is going to be nice and clean. You're going to go to right click, go to new, create a folder for language arts. Right click folder for PE and so on. So you'll have one for social studies, for science, and um, these three. Okay. Now I recommend keeping these all in here just in case you need to resubmit something. Do not delete them until the course is over or at least the semester is over. Now everything will be nice and clean in here. It will be off your desktop and you won't have. It won't be confusing when you're trying to upload um, from your desktop, okay? You can also save it into your math from the internet and pull from your math as well. Um, so you can download 
the assignment. Let's go to the same thing that we were just in, module one. I was in parentheses and brace, brackets, brace, braces. Okay, continue working. Wish we could skip to it and maybe we can. Okay, you're gonna keep working. So you can open the activity. You can go file, download, and you can click the math file and download it directly into the math folder. Then when you resubmit it, you would open the math folder. I like to just put it onto my desktop so it's there and then I can drag it in. Again, it's preference, whatever works for you. Okay. And then you could mark this activity completed um, once you are done with it. Okay, it will be blurred out. And then you come back here and you can see that this activity is now done. Okay, so keep, a, keep tabs on your modules, making sure that you are finishing the assignment and that you are having lots of green check marks as the days go on.